13 days since Hurricane Maria struck the island territory of Puerto Rico, millions are still without electricity, food, and fresh water. Help is on the way, though. This is brand new video of a Crowley container barge from here in Jacksonville. It arrived at the port of San Juan this afternoon with hundreds of containers of vital supplies. And just hours ago, Governor Scott visited Jacksport to check out other cargo barges that will be bringing aid to hurricane victims. Channel 4's Vic Michelucci continues our coverage of this crisis from Puerto Rico. This is a massive operation, one that the Port of San Juan has never seen before. In these containers, there are about 11,000 of them, vital supplies to keep Puerto Ricans alive, to try to rebuild as quickly as possible. We are talking about food, water, fuel, electricity supplies, and of course, building materials so that they can rebuild. And the company behind it all is based in Jacksonville. Crowley. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's frustrating and, and it saddens me just to know that um, we've done a great job bringing the goods to Puerto Rico. And I need to say the government has been working very hard. FEMA on the ground has been working very hard and yet there's much to do. A bottle of water is a bottle of water, regardless if it comes from FEMA, regardless if it comes from a supermarket. Medicine is medicine, food is food, and there's so many people in need out there that still today, they're going to the shelves, to the supermarkets, and this, they just can't find a bottle of water, they can't find a can of food. Why? Because they're sitting in the terminals of San Juan because Why? the supply chain has been broken, because the devastation of the hurricane, because of the roadblocks, because of the communications, because of the energy, because of the water, because of the fuel. Crowley leaders tell me they've done things they've never had to do before to make room for all of the shipments coming into the port here. Case in point, they are stacking the containers on top of each other just so that they have enough room. And while the FEMA aid has been sent out to the island, they are concerned because a lot of these commercial goods are still stuck here inside these containers. And if they can't empty the containers, then they can't get them back to the mainland to refill and bring back here to San Juan. So in the future, that is another crisis in and of itself because they only have so many of these containers to bring new supplies. At the Port of San Juan in Puerto Rico, I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.